Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about evaporation. Are you ready? Let's begin! Evaporation is when water changes from a liquid to a gas. It happens when water is heated up or when it is exposed to air. The water slowly turns into invisible water vapor and rises into the air. It's like when a puddle of water disappears or when your wet clothes dry after being outside in the sun. So how does evaporation work? When water is exposed to air, the tiny water molecules on the surface gain energy from the heat in the air or from the sun. This extra energy makes the water molecules move faster and break free from each other. As they move faster, they rise into the air as water vapor. Factors affecting evaporation Several things can affect how fast or slow evaporation happens. Temperature Higher temperatures make water evaporate faster because it gives the water molecules more energy to break apart and turn into vapor. Surface area Evaporation is faster when there is more surface area of water exposed to the air. That's why a shallow puddle evaporates faster than a deep pool. Humidity Humidity is the amount of moisture or water vapor in the air. When the air is already filled with a lot of moisture, evaporation slows down because the air is already holding a lot of water vapor. Uses of Evaporation Evaporation is an essential process in the water cycle where water moves from the Earth's surface to the atmosphere and back again. It helps create clouds, which eventually lead to rain. Evaporation also helps cool us down while we sweat. As sweat evaporates from our skin, it takes away heat, making us feel colder. Here's a fun evaporation experiment. You can do a simple experiment to see evaporation in action. Fill two identical cups with water. One cup should be left out in the open, while the other cup should be covered. Leave them for a few days and observe. You'll notice that the water in the uncovered cup evaporates faster than the water in the covered cup. So next time you feel the coolness after sweating, you'll know that evaporation is at work. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about evaporation today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button. Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon.